Hey guys, in this video I'll show you the top 5 games for online teaching. Part 2. Let's take a look. Welcome to Andy the ESL Guy. On this channel I upload weekly games, tips and techniques to help you out with your classes. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Cheers! Game number 1 is actually a homework activity. Most students are at home at the moment, so it's good to give them something a bit more fun, a bit more interesting, and they can do it at home with their parents. So let's check out activity number one. So the students can tell you what to do, basically. For example, you are jumping and singing. Okay, so you stand up off your chair. I am jumping and singing. Then you can try with individual students. You are a sad horse. Woo, nay, go, 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 the kid acts out. Then you can choose two of your students to paper, scissors, stone which they love doing online. So, ready, go. Paper, scissors, stone. Okay, you are the winner. So the student, same again. You are swimming and eating a pizza. So the kid, um, um, um. Game number three is based on the game Boggle. And the way I play is with compound words. So the students have to connect up, down, left, right, diagonally as many words as they can to form new compound words. Now, I've done a video on this already. I'll put a link above here you can check out. So let's have a quick look at an example of the game. Once again, you can give them a timer and simply allow the students to find as many words as they can, okay? As many compound words. Here we can have number one, so you can write the words, cupcake. Number two, toothbrush. You can allow the students to play individually or in teams. So whoever gets the most words is the winner. Game number four. Now this game is a memory game. So you can show them something like this on your screen and give them 10 seconds, 20 seconds. They can write down or simply tell you what they can remember. And you can give some bonus points if they can remember the colour of the picture and the word. Game number five, I call point in the opposite direction. This is a game from Mushi's ESL World YouTube channel. He's got so many interesting games. If you guys want to check him out, I'll put a link in the description below. So I normally play this game as a warm-up to class. Very simple game. So if you say apple, Point up. The students have to say, I like apples. Point down. Banana. I like bananas. They point the other way. Monkey. It's a monkey. Elephant. It's an elephant. So if some of your students point the same way as you point, they are out. Okay? So carry on the game until you have one winner at the end. Okay, guys. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the games and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.